Hello there and welcome to this tutorial for stationary battle sprites in SRPG Studio. This is going to be a very brief tutorial, it's very easy and simple to do. Um, shout out to the user Shrouded in Myth over on the Reddit Discord who showed me this method. Thank you very much. Um, so what we're going to see here um, is, is a little demonstration of how it turns out. Uh, very close to Fire Emblem 7 on the Game Boy Advance. Both characters just appear central and do their swing, do their thing slap a guy and it disappears. Very quick and very easy, uh, saves a lot of time on the game for the player. Um, so let's exit out of that and uh, go back to top where we're going to show you the method. So first thing we want to do is go into animations, uh, third from the left on the main control bar and then animation information. Once you've got that window open we're going to make sure we've got do not scroll in battle checked and skip move motion checked. These two need to be checked. What they do is they stop the camera from panning during combat and they stop the move motion from being used entirely. Um, however, if you just do that and you don't change the boundaries, your characters are going to appear off screen during the battle and that is terrible, horrible, detestable. We do not want that. So we're next going to go into boundary settings. Now if I check the default and explain these lines to you, the first line at the bottom, uh, the horizontal line, is the floor level, the ground level for the characters as they appear during combat. Now that needs changing appropriate to uh, the size of your sprites and where you want them to appear uh, vertically during combat. So I'm going to go for 175 because I've got some fairly large battle of sprites and I want them to be central. The next two lines there um, are, are uh, beholden to the width and you push them together as close as they can be which is 419 uh, and once you've got that you just click OK and then click OK and then click Apply and then click OK and boom you're done. Uh, so that is how you achieve the uh, the sprite positioning, skipping the move animation uh, and all that malarkey. Uh, the next thing to do and the last thing to do is um, to prepare yourself a battle back uh, graphic uh, of a podium or some other sort of raised platform or however you want it there with a lot of transparency. All of this white stuff here is transparent and the end result is that this little piece of floor appears, the characters stand on it and the map is the background to the battle. Uh, let's test it out uh, once more. We'll show you again. It's 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 done. Just follow those steps and and you've got it. Bish bash bosh. So here they are again, stopping each other for your entertainment. Uh, it is very useful because the player doesn't have to watch the guy running across the screen for every battle, which I think can get it can get very tedious. Um, over a longer game. If you've got a large map with 30 battles going on, that's 30 times watching a guy run across the screen instead of just slapping his enemy straight away. Uh, and of course, if the player wanted to watch marathons, they wouldn't be playing your game, they'd be watching the telly. Uh, and there's nothing more to say about it really, so I'm just going to quit it now. Uh, if you want to see more tutorials, give me a shout, ask me anything. I know people that will have the answers if I don't. I'm going to link to a couple of discords and uh, YouTube channels in the description that you'll find some useful information on Driftwood Gaming, um, Jay the Duelist, uh, the, the Reddit Discord, uh, and the Wikia. And otherwise, have fun building your game. And, and that's about it. See you next time, I suppose. Uh, like it, subscribe it, do what you want. Cheers!